सो हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू योर चैनल कुकिंग एस्ट्रोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल एंड लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक्स लॉट सो येस्टरडे आई वेंट टू यूट्यूब क्रिएटर कलेक्टिव एंड डेट इज मीट ऑर्गेनाइज इन चंडीगढ़ इन इंडिया सो देर आर मैनी अदर न्यू क्रिएटर्स डेट ऑल्सो केम अप ओवर देयर एंड आई ऑल्सो ट्राई टू मीट विद मैनी न्यू क्रिएटर्स so they are also sharing their personal experiences how they started their youtube journey how they came up to this platform and that kind of a thing so even there are many other creative games as well such as you can like create something with the help of that jelly so you need to draw one art over there and there are going to be many special performances along with food and specifically that is going to be a very engaging session so i would like to personally thank you youtube as well for giving all the creators this platform so that we can share our knowledge with other people and special thanks to all my audience that are watching this video and this thing is not possible because of uh, without your support so thank you so much for first of all giving me this valuable support contribution towards my work towards my youtube videos so in the future i keep on creating more content and uh, specifically the like vedic astrology or my special audience they are very engaging if you watch my all videos you can pick up maybe videos 2 years ago still i will tell you they are discussing something up there like okay venus in magha nakshatra this thing this thing so that is a very engaging thing and these things will eventually give some sort of a motivation or enthusiasm to the creator who is actually creating that kind of a videos so that is the support which uh, i will tell you every supporter needs time to time because this is that kind of a job like working as a full time youtuber you need to have a lot of patience inside you you need to sometime might going to feel very low secludedness inside you or there are going to be many problems maybe mental problems you tend to face like i'm doing all alone i don't know which direction i'm going sometime you might going to feel very low sometime you feel very high so it varies from time to time but specifically this particular the youtube this is a very challenging aspect or one of the most competitive careers i will tell you because right now here on youtube we are not only dealing with only one market we are actually dealing with the international markets as well specifically if your audience are outside india or maybe in some other country so that competition is going to be very high so that is a very demanding and very challenging and yes specifically i love all those challenges as well i myself as a very enthusiastic person when it comes to doing something which provide specific value to the my core audience so i believe in my morals or my principles are also shaped and designed in such a way like i need to po- provide some value to all the people who are watching this video so thank you so much now let's come to the topic once again and we will discuss the mars placement in the second house of your navmash kundli and what are going to be the results that are associated with this placement see mars in the second house is going to be a bit tricky placement and the reason i'm saying this is a tricky placement because malefics whenever they go towards the second house so their main pressing aim in life is to offer some sort of a financial security inside the family and mars is a purely masculine planet and this mars particularly have the capacity to provide something for the family it doesn't matter whether you are a male or a female watching this video if you are having mars placement in the second house no matter like which family you came from the responsibilities will surely going to attract towards you and mars is going to be one of the most responsible person of the complete household irrespective of your gender your age maybe right now you are 21 25 years of age watching this video so that responsibilities are going to be present inside this mars secondly if this mars is afflicted with some other malefics like mars is posited with saturn rahu and ketu axis then this is not going to impact in the d9 chart but this is going to impact your d1 chart as well so as i previously told you you need to look in the, into the house placement 
so for example in the lagna chart in the d1 chart you are aries ascendant so mars is gaining control over the first house and the eighth house and if that planet is then becoming debilitated or maybe conjunct with other malefics with rahu and ketu axis so it shows the problems are going to be coming from the first and the eighth area eighth house is the house of sudden transformations and lagna is you so depending upon the dignity of the mars this might going to create a better human being or this might going to create a worst kind of a human being you can take some other example suppose like a libra ascendant so mars is gaining control over second and seventh house of marriage now if this planet is hemmed with more malefics then this is naturally going to delay the event of marriage up to the age of 35 and specifically like the maturity of mars that is at the age of 28 if mars is in your second house so this is going to be the triggering point where most of the new events that have the capacity to transform your life because in the natural kal purush kundli mars is naturally the controller of 8th house so no matter in whichever house the mars is posited the scorpion energy is particularly going to be present inside this mars so whenever the age factor when you hit the maturity that is the 28th and when you cross to the 29th so that one year is going to be a really very transformative year in front of you now it depend upon various other factors whether the transformations are coming from relationships or marriage aspect whether they are coming from your professional career aspect or maybe from financial angle or maybe sometime i have seen individuals they tend to purchase their first real estate it's not necessary only the residential property it may be commercial piece of land and even plot so real estate investments are also going to be very proficient with this mars placement in the second house although sometime depending upon the complexity of mars with other malefics investment in under constructed properties and buildings they will not tend to flourish much better with the passage of time but let me tell you if this mars is very well posited in both the charts in the d1 and even in the d9 chart real estate is going to become one of the biggest biggest and biggest contributor factor towards your financial growth and prosperity and most of the time i have seen the maturity of mars at the age of 28 29 or sometime the maturity of mercury and even saturn that is 30 to 33 and even 35 and 36 so these are going to be the transformational years whenever it comes to the mars placement in the second house next important point mars is going to become a very spent theft in this second house and it become very difficult for you to manage your money after marriage because if you look into the navman chart seventh house is going to become the house of your spouse life partner and then this house is becoming the eighth house so this is also going to be a representation of the joint asset creation between a husband and a wife like sometime husband and wife they are having fixed deposits in the bank account or sometime they are purchasing home and properties in the joint name so joint asset creation is going to become very very challenging with this particular mars because vedic astrology is a very interconnected subject so you need to understand one thing here husband and wife planetary alignments they are thoroughly interconnected with one another so after getting married there are there is going to be huge impact of husband planetary alignments over the wife's life and wife planetary alignments over the husband's life now if you combine both of these charts together so this mars is getting superimposed in the female chart as well so what is going to be happening most of the time 95% of the time this is not a good placement for joint asset creation specifically opening joint fixed deposits in the bank account purchasing home properties in the joint name because if one individual horoscope mars is damaged this has the ability to put impact over the second person chart as well so the best possible solution with this mars is you both need to try to keep your bank accounts separate from one another you are having your own savings account your partner need to have her own savings account and whatever your monthly expenditure you can open up the third bank account it may be in your name or in your partner's name and do the spendings from that third bank account only there is no need to mix your finances together because mars is a malefic planet so this have the capacity to create a friction between you and your partner so this is going to destroy your interpersonal relationships as well next important point if specifically you are a male or even if you are a female sometime you tend to feel lot of restrictions and boundations in your 
interpersonal relation or in between your marriage because malefics they tend to offer such kind of a security or you can consider this thing as a boundary wall around you so they specifically they will provide that kind of a boundary ball so you cannot escape from that particular areas so sometime you might going to be considered like my partner is very bossy or he or she tries to control everything this is not controlling nature this is their way of offering the protection now you cannot understand their way or how their perception is going to be but they are offering that security and protection and once they are offering that security and protection only then they tend to feel okay now my family is completely in some sort of a comfort zone and let me do some other activities so this mars a dignity if it is very powerful they will secure that kind of a security inside a family and then they keep certain risks in their life it also depend if the dignity of mars is really very weak then this mars is not going to take any sort of calculative risks and as i'm telling you if it is weakly posited or in some debilitation or forming any sort of connection with the money and wealth houses in the lagan kundli in the d1 chart like 11th house 12th house even second house i will tell you this mars have the capacity to lead up to bankruptcy as well because from the career and the professional angle specifically this mars don't like to work under someone else no matter how hard you try mars is going to be a very like very aggressive kind of a soldier so mars don't like to hear take orders from the other people mars in the second house want to sail its own boat so whatever mars is going to do that is going to be on complete independent basis like okay if i'm setting one goal i'm going to achieve it then i'm going to set the next goal but if that goal setting part is done by some other person then this mars energy is not going to align properly even it become very difficult for this mars to explore the possibilities then because mars is that particular planet this is that soldier where if you give him more challenges the mars tend to become more powerful so even if any failures i will tell you in your failures in your love life maybe breakups failures in your relationship failures in your financial life failures in your career if mars is in the second house i will tell you no matter the amount of failure that you are going to encounter in your life mars still have the same capacity same energy or same enthusiasm so mars once again mars mentality is not like that okay i have failed so okay let me take some burden upon me no that is other planets like moon and specifically the benefics mars can also take the burden but that is only going to be for few moments after that mars will once again wake up because this is the soldier mentality and mars main principle is to how to like specifically make this world a better place or what can i do to actually gain control or how can i provide that security so this is going to be a wonderful placement of mars placement in the second house so i hope you have gained certain insights in this video with me if you are having any queries any consultations with regards to your mars placement any other planetary placement any other marriage career spiritual business consultation do let me know i will try my best to respond you back as soon as possible so till then please subscribe my channel below make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video and please don't forget to follow me on instagram as well you can check out the other videos which i have posted over youtube or instagram you can if you want to like like see some highlights from creator collective you can please go to instagram check out everything and thank you so much and i will try my best to meet you as soon as possible So till then bye bye and take care